Hi, this is Jeff Van West for IFR Magazine and AvWeb. And if you were in a Cirrus SR22 like this and you had to get down from the clouds in a hurry, could you do it? Could you do it on instruments? Could you do it on a bumpy day like today? What about if you were on fire? We're going to take a look today at some of the techniques that might make this work out, getting down fast or getting down accurately. Let's start with getting down when there's no time to waste. Step one is to find several thousand feet of air with no one around or below you. When you're sure you've got that, reduce the power to idle and roll into a turn of 60 degrees. But unlike a normal turn, you won't pull back on the stick to hold altitude. In fact, you only want slightly more back pressure than you would hold in level flight. We're trying to lose altitude fast here, so we want to dump as much lift as possible into the turn without adding lift with back pressure. Done correctly, stall speed isn't an issue. People mistakenly associate a 60 degree bank with a doubling of load factor and an increase in stall speed, but that's only true of a 60 degree bank in level flight. Speed wise, somewhere below VA and around VFE is often good. Some people like to drop down with full flaps right at VFE. Others like to keep it clean and drop at speeds of VNE. I like flaps up, but not so fast I can't get the flaps out quickly when I finish the descent. You'll be uncoordinated in this turn because you'll need top rudder, that is rudder that opposes the turn or is towards the sky, to keep the nose from falling. Probably quite a bit of top rudder. Your goal is to roll out of the turn at some target altitude and smoothly return to level flight at a speed where you can get the flaps out and make the rest of your emergency descent to an airport or just a waiting field. Probably the most common error here is letting the nose fall to too low an attitude and the speed begins to build. If that happens, simply roll out of the turn, partially, bring the nose gently back up towards level flight, and then roll back in from the nose high attitude. The other common mistake is not enough bank. This means you don't descend as quickly, even if you have a fairly high airspeed. Watch your CHTs if you do this kind of maneuver. It's pretty hard on the airplane, full power climbs and full idle descents. The other kind of emergency descent you could practice is spiraling down over an airport using your GPS, as if you'd lost an engine in IMC. Start by finding an airport, VFR of course, where no one will be below you. Next, align yourself so you either fly over the threshold of the runway, or to a key position, a beam the numbers, but in either case, several thousand feet over the field. Spiral down with idle power and note how much altitude you lose for each 360 degree turn. Obviously this varies with aircraft loading, but you'd be surprised how much it varies with bank angle and speed. You'll probably find you lose the least altitude per 360 at 45 degrees of bank and a speed a bit under best glide. Your goal is to be able to adjust the altitude loss on each of those 360s so you hit that key position of beam the numbers at about a thousand feet AGL. It's harder than you might think. Do it a couple times to get the feel and have a couple different bank angles to adjust your total rate. You also have to adjust your bank angle to account for the winds and keep the spiral over the right spot. And remember, you're doing this all using the moving map on the GPS. You're simulating being in the clouds for the entire maneuver. The last step is the final 180 from a thousand feet AGL to the runway. Try this a few times in the pattern to calibrate your sense of where the airplane symbol is on the map to where the airplane really is in the air. While it's usually better to turn too early and land long, you want to feel for how much you need to lead the turn for a given amount of wind or fly outbound to not overshoot your runway when the winds are calm. It takes some practice. And set yourself a hard and fast right, rule that if you're around. not going to make the runway on idle power, you just go around and try it again. Practice these 180s in the pattern until you can judge how the wind is pushing you outbound in the first 90 degrees of turn using just the map. And then, make the last 90 degrees of turn Think visually rate. to the runway. 500. Then try the whole thing once more, all the way from altitude to pavement. When it works, it's sweet. Nice. Work. <laughs> Unbelievable.
You don't need a fancy panel to practice extreme descents or a fancy GPS for spiral downs. Just remember, though, that spinning gyros have bank limits. And no matter what airplane you use, make sure the safety pilot is competent with extreme maneuvers. Well, there you have it. A couple techniques for getting down out of the clouds in a hurry. If you're going to practice this yourself, well, for God's sake, make sure you don't do it in actual IMC. That's for emergencies only. And make sure you do have a safety pilot with you and some clear air below you. And if you're planning on keeping this in your bag of tricks, you're going to have to practice it regularly to maintain proficiency. You don't want to take a bad situation and make it that much worse. I'm Jeff Van West for IFR Magazine and AvWeb. Thanks for watching.